Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Thomas. You're probably here in the background. Super Cool Radio is here at Michigan Metal Fest. I got some great, I got a great guest, there we go. I'm sorry, it's been a long day and it's only like one o'clock, or uh, actually two o'clock. See, I don't even know what time it is. This is some time. Sorry, I'm, already, I'm just messing this up. Let me introduce my guest here, good friend of the uh, podcast. Please welcome Megan from Casket Robbery. Hello. I'm sorry, that's probably the worst intro I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> but we've made it here to Michigan Metal Fest. How have you been doing? How is, uh, how's the shows this year been going? Super fun. Super awesome. Uh, we've been playing a lot of shows, staying on tour, and yeah, it's been a blast. You guys have been very busy. You got a new single out. You got a music video. We Plus, do. you're here at Michigan Metal Fest. Yes. So, let, let's jump in on the new single. Yeah. So, like, how, like, if people haven't checked it out, what can they expect? Um, so I think the new single just kind of shows our evolution as a band again. Um, we're trying some new things, and it hits hard. There's a lot of energy in it, and it's just really fun. Um, we're stoked for it to be the first release off of this next album. So, yeah. All right, I, I really liked the Rituals of Death because you guys added some different elements with all the songs. Yeah. I think just the new single, you guys are just building on that, as you said, evolution of Casket Robbery. Yep. Yeah. So you said, so this is the first single off an upcoming album that's in the works. Yeah. Can you give, are you liberty to give any hints about the upcoming album? Um, it'll be released sometime next year. I don't have any dates, but we are hard at work on it. Um, we're really excited about the whole concept of everything. And yeah, Lacrophagus was just like a little taste. Right on, right on. So. So I, I'm curious because I've interviewed you, I think my fourth interview with yeah. you, uh, and I haven't asked, so like, what's like the writing process for Casket Robbery? Um, I wish there was like a set thing, it's it's sometimes chaotic, but but yeah, uh, Corey really likes um, creating riffs off of my lyrics and things like that. Um, I watch a ton of horror movies to kind of get in the mind of things, and then I just really like to tell a story with everything, so kind of piecing things together. It's really collaborative, um, and if I hear a part and then I throw like a chorus behind it or something like that, but it's pretty give or take with everything, and, and each song is a little bit different how we write it, um, which is really cool. Oh yeah, for sure. So how about the, the new single, like what was the kind of the writing experience for that one? Yeah, um, that one musically was pretty much written before I had done a whole lot of lyrics for everything. I. Um, I heard it and just kind of dove in. I had the, the concept of, of a creature that eats tears in my brain and um, we just kind of went with it and then started adding um, a ton of stuff. Anytime I do a demo, um, it'll the, the flow of the song really gets changed a whole lot. So we're good about going back and forth and then drums change and Austin gets to throw drums down on that and it's been really fun. Yeah. All right. So uh, it's like all you know, all band members get to participate yeah. like, in the writing and recording experience. Yeah, absolutely. This is this was the first release with Austin on it. So um, the next album, it's it's just going to be great having him on everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tonight because I've seen you guys before. You guys kick ass. Thank live. you. But uh, before before we get to the live uh, show aspect, I did want to ask for so the music video. Looked awesome. Thanks. Looked like a lot of fun. So how was the filming it? It was so fun. We did it. We squeaked it in. We were like trying to get this single and video done like on a deadline. And we had we were just leaving for tour. So we actually shot that video here in Michigan at the music factory. Um squeaked in I, the I day thought we it looked left. Familiar. Yes. Okay. Yep, the day we left for tour. Um we took over the music factory, had to go find this giant tarp to put all over the background there yeah, they got, yeah. oh my god and and yeah it was a blast they, um shout out to them for like letting us do that um it was really great yeah 
Right on, very uh, Music Factory, awesome venue. I was like catching some shows there. So yes. glad. Uh, I, I saw the stage and I was like, I, I knew they looked familiar and I could just couldn't place it. So now <laughs> it makes a lot more sense yeah. to me now. <laughs> well, uh, it's so cool. I will drop a link uh, in the description uh, for the music video. Make sure to check it out. Give it a like, comment, boost that algorithm. Hell yeah. <laughs> so now, tonight uh, we're here. You guys are here at Michigan Metal Fest. I'm curious for you, like, is it a different, uh, like, do you have to mentally prepare differently to perform live compared to recording music? Yeah, I, you know, I try and, especially these, these festivals and stuff, um, the, the fun thing about them is we get to meet so many people, and I get to meet so many of our fans and make new fans and talk to new people, um, but it's also a lot of energy. And so it taking is. little breaks throughout the day for myself, but to get prepared, you know, we all just kind of stretch, pound some water. Um, and then just kind of get in the zone for up there. Luckily, we have to be there like an hour before we play. So give us plenty of time. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. for sure, for sure. As I said, I've seen you guys before. You guys always deliver a great show. But now I'm curious, so obviously you guys have been touring a lot. You've played a lot of killer shows. So I'm curious for you, like who are some bands that you've like, performed with and toured with that people should check out? Oh my God, we were lucky enough um, this last tour that we just did with uh, Gorgatron. Yes. Oh my God. Um, those guys, watching them every night, it was, this tour was so great with Gorgatron and Varath, who are here today. Yes, they um, are. Playing very shortly. <laughs> um, it, that tour was so incredible because musically, it made everyone like step up their game. Oh, yeah. And each band was so professional, but still had so much fun. Like we all joke in, I think, interviews since then that it's, it was like every person in every band was each other's best friend. So um, that was a blast. That's who um, really I've seen coming up. Um, I'm excited for Filth. We are always playing yes. with them. Me and Dustin were just talking that um, it's been a while. We played with them at like Toledo Death Fest, and that was like two years ago. So yeah, yes. Autumn Lies Buried is killing it right now. Yes, they are. Killing it. We just had a little talk about maybe doing something together. Um, so yeah, there's just music right now and music, especially in extreme music, is definitely having its day. And I think there's a lot of really fun things. Like we're next to nail bite right now, or like I would I would say early like kids. Um, so there's <laughs> really exciting to see like all of that. Oh, yeah, it's a great mix mix of a lot of great bands yeah. here at Michigan Metal. Like, every year, not just like this year in particular, just every year their lineups are just so strong full of yeah, absolutely. A, a lot of great bands that even if you're like not familiar with them, like come out and see all of them because they always deliver great shows. Yep. Now, as we're starting to wrap this up, because I know that we, I got a busy day, <laughs> you got a busy day, but I did want to talk about, because I love your guys' merch setup. Thank you. you got some awesome looking merch. So Thank you. I'm curious, you got the candles, the shirts, stickers, like... How do, like, how do you guys come up with like these awesome design and products? You know, I am really, really big on, since I joined the band, really learning about our like brand and our thing. So I think my creativity, like other than the lyrical stuff, um, really is shown through our merch. So I have these ideas and Corey goes along with them and we just kind of develop things that way. And it's, it's a blast, like setting this stuff up. Um, we do get a lot of compliments on our merch, which is great. Um, but yeah, I think it's all about our branding and and having stuff that's fun for people. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I picked up a shirt today because I, I love you guys' shirt designs. <laughs> and it's just so cool just seeing the whole setup you guys have. Thank you, thank you. So if you can't make it out to the show, make sure I'll, I'll drop their merch link in the description. Please support yes. them. Yes, I hear Josh from Baroth right now. That's yeah. it. <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up very soon. i got one last question to ask you, Megan. Yes. Uh, what is the rest of 2024 looking like for Casca Robbery? The rest of it, um, we're going to be announcing a tour shortly. And the rest of it is album. Album, album, album. Right so, on. yeah. Yeah. Very good. Well, please try to support Casca Robbery. As I said, links will be in the description. Please, if you can, make it out of the show. Hang out with them. Chat with them. They're awesome people. Thank you. <laughs> for Megan and Casca Robbery, I'm your host, always, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. This is Super Cool Radio. And remember, stay frosty.